Hi guys, what we're going to try and make today is one of our WCP 116 German Eastern Front dual fuel trailers. You can see it has two 200 litre oil barrels on the top. If you just look under, we've got jockey wheel that turns, wheel rotates, two wheels on bearings, and we have working leaf spun suspension. We also have a rotatable hitch. Okay, right, here's our kit. Let's just get cracking. So we've got the main chassis section here. It's got a pressed in brass threaded insert. And here's the pull bar assembly. So what we're gonna do is attach these two pieces together. Before we do that, we're just gonna put the uh, the pull bar in. So, here we are, M3 bolt with a washer, all the way through, another washer, and then we're going to put the rod end on there. So we can rotate. We use some of this solvent weld as well to help us. So this is a plastic solvent weld. This is PLA material. I'm just going to apply that where the joining surfaces are. that lined up in there. So, the next bit we're going to do is a jockey wheel assembly. So, just going to use a bit of super glue. Just put it on the thread. Just so we don't get super glue all over our fingers. So here we have the jockey wheel. It's got a little brass bushing in there on the tire. So we'll just push that on. What we'll do. Push this M2 bolt through. Tighten it 
Trying to get to Russia. And a tiny little nylock. So there we are. My little wheel rotates. I'm just going to take that and hopefully to turn it in. There we are. So there's a thread on there, means that there's actually a height adjustable jockey wheel there. But you can also remove it as well if you're going to tow it around. Okay, so the next job is to get all the axle and the wheels and the leaf spring suspension on. So we're going to do that next. So what we're going to do is use a bit of this solvent weld on the front mount. And that's these little ones. So just got a hole through the, the middle. So we'll put them in place. Line that up with the hole. Okay, so they're on. Then we've got these mounts, the rear mount. So on one side you'll see there's like a little nylock indent. So that'll be on the inside. We use a bit of solvent world again. And again, we're gonna try and line up that hole. And on this one as well. So we're going to turn this over now. We've got some tiny little screws that we're going to use. So these are short M2s. We're going to use a tiny little super glue as well. Just going to put some in the, the hole on the front mount. Okay, so that's the front mount in. So what we're also going to do now is we're going to put the leaf springs onto the axle. Okay. So again, we're going to use some solvent weld. And there's like a little ridge that's going to go on the inside. So we'll line up that hole. And we'll line up that hole as well. We're going to do the same thing again. We're then going to put also a little bit of super glue on these threads.
There we have it. So the reason why we put some super glue on these ones is just so we can hold it in place. We'll unscrew them in a bit when we put this on. But that's how it's going to sit in there like that. Right. So we're going to take the longer bolts now. We're going to fit them in the back. So we're going to screw in the back here. trick here is not to tighten up too tight because we do want to have a little bit of movement there we go. do the same on this side as well We'll take these out. Hopefully it's glued enough now. We can put these front mounts in. Put it all the way through. And now we have a tiny little my lock. That's that one done. And that's this one done as well. And now we can just screw these into the back. So there we are, we've got the chassis, we've got the working leaf spring suspension. So I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put little side lights on the end. So we're just going to use some super glue for that. That's these little things here. That's one side light. And there we have those in there like that. Okay, we also have to put a little rear bar on it. So we've got this little bar, we've got a little number plate, so we're going to use some solvent weld for this. Super glue here, we're just going to put in the two holes. One, two. We've got these little metal brackets that we've made. So now we have 
twisting it in. Try not to get super glue all over your fingers. Okay, now the tricky bit, trying to line it up with the holes in the back of the chassis. So we're going to use more super glue again, just a dab in there. the rear bar assembly on. Okay, we're not going to put the mud guards on just yet because what we want to do is get the wheel on and then we want to make sure that the mud guards are central to the wheel. So on the wheels we actually have two variants. We've got these larger 3D printed um, TPU tyres with the tread pattern as they really would have. But we've also got another option as well. We've got these small uh, mini soft flexible rubber tyres. Um, here's another chassis we made earlier so I'll just show you what this one looks like. So that's one chassis with the rubber tyres and these TPU tyres are quite tough so we need to just be really careful putting them on the rims So there's the two tyre variants visible. Okay, so the axles, an M2.5, and we've made these brass bushings. Now what we're going to do is just fit these. The reason why we've got the brass bushings is they just have a tighter fit on the bearings that are fitted in the back of the wheels. So there's metal ball races in the back of the wheels. So I'm going to push this one through the front and we have to put another one on the back. You need to be really careful with this bit because the brass bushings are very sharp. They can slice through your fingers really easily. So just take care. Probably best as well to use a pair of pliers just to grip them gently. Okay, so there's one wheel, and what we're going to do is just screw that in to the axle. In fact, before we do that, I'll show you that in the axle we've actually got brass threaded inserts in the axle, and we'll just screw that on. That's one wheel on. Okay, so the last bit now is fixing these. So we're going to use Solvent Weld. What we're going to do is run that along this length here. And now we're going to try and make sure that we line it up nicely with the wheel. And 
good way to just check is the front of the mudguard should be in line with just the front of the leaf spring mount. So there we have one. So we have a second one. Okay. So there we have it. We've got one trailer. We've got these fuel uh, these oil barrels or fuel barrels, so they're made they're marked 200 liter barrels. We've resin printed these. You can just see the text there. You can change the text for different things, but they will fit then on this. So what you can do is glue them on, and then on this one here, what we've done is made some brass straps that actually hold it down. Um, so that would be the next stage. But there we have it. There is our 116 WCP Models German Eastern Front fuel trailer. Thank you for watching.